Look here, man. You know what it is. You know what it is. Welcome, y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Trey Love Show. Here we are again live. I want to say I'm just so blessed to be here today. You know God is good, y'all. And all the time God is good or something like that they say in church. <laughs> so like, I don't even know. Something, all something the time. they say before, <laughs> before fornication. I, I don't know. But, hey, man, I mean, it's been a heck of a week, y'all. It's been a heck of a week. You know, I got a superstar in the house today. We're going to go on and get to that in a minute, man. I'm going to tell you. I promise y'all, you know, for my Facebook followers, my Twitter followers, my MySpace followers, my YouTube, Trey Love 77. And your three, stalkers. Three, my stalkers. <laughs> no, I got one of them too. For my stalker and for the members of TreyLove.tv, I want to say thank you to all y'all. And you know I'm going to keep you entertained. You understand what I'm saying? Got to do my shout outs. Y'all know every week I got to do my shout outs first because there's so many people that put into what is Trey Love and the Trey Love show. So I have to give my gratitude first and foremost the man with the plan, Yoda himself, Dr. MD. Mario, the knucklehead fool Hemsley, my mentor. <laughs> Some of you see me on Monday morning coffee and just being mentored. He's my buddy, but hey, I mean, he's, he's, he's fun to work for and hard to work for at the same time. But I got to give a shout out to him because, hey, without him, I have to be honest, his influence has just, just enhanced what was already Trey Love. And I'm grateful to him and know that he is an angel on this path, which is Trey Love. Now, the next person. Yes, ladies, ladies, I know you know. The man with the plan. Oh, the man, the backup man, the pack stereo.tv himself. Victor. <laughs> Lexington Steel. <laughs> Allen. <laughs> oh, yes, ladies. The rumors from what I've heard <laughs> are true. <laughs> Tall, dark, black, mother, fresh off the boat. And then he speaks like this. <laughs> Yes, my name is Victor Allen. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to tell you all, guess what? In honor of Victor Allen, we have coming to the Trey Love Show a very, 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 very special guest. You guys got to tune in, man. I'm talking about, they say, hey, I'm hearing rumors that I'm like the king of internet entertainment, man. They like Trey you everywhere on that net. And I'm trying to do it. I'm bringing you every aspect. Ladies and gentlemen, September 7th. I will have Victor's counterpart <laughs> <laughs> live on the Trey Love Show. Oh God! You all know Butterfly, porn star herself. Oh I will post pictures of her on my Facebook and Twitter, just in case you don't know. But I have confirmed her for September seventh, and she wanted me to pass a message along to Victor and say, "Hey, it's gonna be good to see you again." <laughs> oh my God! Ah! <laughs> yes, guys. Yes, yes. Okay, Shantae Gibson, sister of Platinum Seller recording artist Tyrese Gibson of Edge Light Entertainment. Got to shout the home girl out. She always show love. Always take care of brother. Got to give her her shouts. Got to shout out Q 
Carla and Marcus of EOTM. Uh, they always showing love, giving a brother props. Um, got a shout out Tuesday Nunez. I have to. I can't forget any of the sponsors, y'all. I know I'm reading, but hey, this is the Trey Love Show. I can do this the way I want to do it, so don't don't judge me. You know, if I was white and had money, I'd have a teleprompt up here like this. But I'm black, <laughs> and it's the internet, so I'm handling my bi. What? Anyway, like I was saying, don't judge me. I felt somebody judging me through the, through virally, <laughs> so I had to jump on them. Don't judge me. But I want to say, um, Tuesday noon, yes, um, she's a sponsor of the Trey Love Show. Um, my co-host, who is absolutely gorgeous, and one of her go girls, and I handpicked her. I, that's what I like about Tuesday. She, Tuesday shop is like you. You remember, like, come to America when when uh, not we wasn't coming to America. What's that movie, Rush Hour? When Chris Tucker was like, oh uh, man, let me see which one I want, man. Yeah, it was um, Rush Hour. Yeah, yeah, that was Rush Hour, man. Let me see. Uh, give me that one. Ooh, I like that one. Uh oh, give me that one. That one, that one right there. Yeah, I handpicked this one. I got me a bad head. <laughs> Elizabeth Ashley, you guys, my co-host. <laughs> Love her. Hello, got to hello. have her. Good to have you. And I got to give a, a shout, ladies and gentlemen. Be on the lookout for my DVD coming soon. It's called The Playboy of Comedy. Now, with all of that being said, oh, I had a couple auditions, y'all. Make sure you stay in prayer, people. You know, I'm working hard. And you know what? Before we even get into some stuff, I just want to say something real quick because, you know, I got to be mindful of the time on the Trey Love Show. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, there's a topic going around and as a, a person who's part of media now i have to address this um the young lady larry fishburne's daughter i want to say to you um that's terrible yeah I'm, I'm i'm upset with you as a father i have twin daughters and i was on the bus today and and i i share larry's pain because i'm on the bus y'all and I'm hearing 16 year old girls talking to each other and they're joking. And what about when you, it wasn't intercourse just because he put it in. That didn't count. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to just say, as a dad, it, it's painful. Because I remember what I was doing to people's daughters. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that I have to suffer? You say, read what you saw. I, it, anyway. I think mm -hmm. having daughters is the scariest thing. I don't want to discuss planet. it. I don't want to discuss it. I, that's something scariest I don't, thing I on the planet. I did not just say I hey. didn't want to discuss it. See, yours, are, yours are angels. I let, <laughs> don't, don't get me started on them. Look, dang, by this. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go to court right now. <laughs> All right, but now that that's out the way, you know, there's some other things in the news, but I cannot even waste no more time on that. I have to introduce my guest to you, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, the brothers in theater. You've seen this brother on the hit TV show, The Game. You've also seen him on... What's the name of that uh, soap opera? Days of Our Lives. You've seen. Look, I'm Negro. You've seen. <laughs> what? What? Why? What? <laughs> what? This is the Trey Love show. What? You're not a 75 year old. Hey. Old. Right. I'm handling, knitting I'm, and watching. I'm handling my business, sweating and swinging. Ah, oh, <laughs> Anyway, you've seen him on the hit TV show The Game. You've seen him on Days of Our Lives. You also seen his brother in theater, CSI. I mean, this brother's resume. I know I talk a lot of stuff about being like, yeah, you know, I'm Trey Love, but this brother here, he be setting a bar and shit. <laughs> you know, he like that brother. You know how you be in the club and you be the man till till somebody walk in. You know, he got all the order herbs, all the garden tools around me. Oh, girl, that go Vincent. <laughs> and then I turn into what's his name. I've been Trey Love the whole night. But ladies and gentlemen, when Vincent Walk is there, it's like, oh, girl, that go Vincent. Well, and I'm sorry, anybody that's on a soap opera, soap opera is good looking. It's just a fact. That's true. So then you also got that factor in. And damn, you got he a good is looking good guy looking. with a good resume. Ain't I don't know. Ain't you need to pick and choose your got a good look, people good you have coming in yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't be letting nobody upgrade. This is the Trey Love show. <laughs> You know what? That actually gonna put me on front street. Thanks, oh, co-host. Sorry. You are the bomb digger. <laughs> my bad. Um, do we have his humanitarian clip ready or no? Okay. Well, then what we'll do is we'll introduce the guest. We'll try to get it prepared and allow the guest to talk to the people. And y'all, y'all, I mean, True Blood, ladies and gentlemen, is the <laughs> hottest show on TV right now. I want y'all to give it up and show your love for my friend and yours. You see him in your living room every night. Clap it up, y'all, all the way through the internet for Mr. Vincent M. Wong. <laughs> Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Thanks for having me here, man. Welcome, V. Welcome, welcome, welcome. First yeah. of all, first of all, okay, my man, I'm I'm so excited to have you on my show, man. I told you I'll be here, and, and you did too, and I appreciate that. And I'm I got to give a shout out to him too. And uh, the great doctor noticed that you did something that most he did something most people don't do, Ashley. 
What? Especially people of his color. What'd he do? I'm gonna let you guess. Let's see if you can figure it out. Wait, mm. the, the, who said that he did what? He did. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's why I have the Caucasian persuasion on my show, y'all. I love the white girl. What, huh? Excuse me? What, Trey? Put that away. No, um, <laughs> what I'm saying is, <laughs> what I'm saying is he did something that most ethnic people don't do. And what do you think that is? What do you think he did? That makes him, that made him get a shout out from the doctor. Uh, from the doctor? Yes. I, I, the good doctor. The good doctor. Who's the good doctor? I love it. <laughs> wow. I love it. She's got no preemptive. I, I know he the got good here. doctor is my first time here. See, so bam. I, don't, I love it. Yoga. Ooh, I love her. Yoga. Over the head. I Over the no, head. Cool, cool. <laughs> hey, what, you know what I just realized? Why looking at her make me want a Wendy's burger? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Is it just me? Or did you? <laughs> no, I'm saying. Yeah, you do like, like Wendy real, a little bit. I, just, I looked over there and I swear I wanted one of them. Don't make me show up in big deals next week. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy started in Ohio, man. <laughs> exactly. And, and Ohio is where you're from, right? Yeah, Dayton, Ohio. Born and raised. All the good food is redheads. Oh, Donald's, look Wendy's. Her, see? Yeah, you're right. I'm not <laughs> Okay, Ohio, you're from Dayton. Mm -hmm. Man, let's discuss your phenomenal career, man. What is it like to, to be working currently with, I mean, man, you are doing the most, man. You know, honestly, man, I feel like I haven't done anything. You know, that's, it keeps me humble, man, for the simple fact I know the best is yet to come. Mm -hmm. So, you know, me doing, being on True Blood and the game and the wire or whatever, you know, I just look at it like a blessing, you know. It's a blessing and, you know, I would have never, ever thought that it would have came down to this. Well, I'm going to tell the people something that I saw just the other day. And I'm, I'm going to just, you, you, you hear him reading off this resume like, I, mean, I ain't did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this Negro, I mean, I'm around here at packs every day, sweeping flows and mopping and sweating and screaming. And and here he go, oh, yeah, I ain't do nothing. <laughs> I was just on True Blood. But uh, I saw you, brother, on... Um, I was tripping out when I was just watching Steve Martin and Queen Latifah's movie. Like, uh, Brother, why are you just everywhere? I'm bringing down the house. Bringing down yeah. the house. You are everywhere, man. Yeah, man. Hey, it's... You know, I came out here in uh, 2000. I started my acting career in Columbus, Ohio. Okay. You know, I, I, f I sort of fell into it, you know. You know. I went in, looked at this play. I'm sitting there. I'm like, I can do that. Mm -hmm. And like the, la the next two weeks, theater. yeah, I wow. love theater. I'd rather do theater than anything else. Matter of fact, rest in peace to my first director that just got killed last week. He was from Ohio, James uh, Chapman. Ooh. But, you know, he gave me the opportunity to start my acting career. From that, you know, I went on to do some independent stuff. And then I did the movie Traffic. Yeah. And then after I did Traffic in Ohio, I said, it's time for me to go. Mm. Move back in with my mama and them. Save my money. Save my money to come on out here. That one. Yeah. <laughs> Save my money, came on out here, man, and you know, that's that's what all happened. Man, congratulations on that. I mean it, that's wow. I mean listen to this story. I'm, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you Talk a blessing you. about traffic. What's up? Came here, moved here, went to the premiere. I'm sitting there waiting for my part. Michael Douglas drives right past me. Because I was supposed to stop him, confront him. My character's name was The Face. Okay. I stopped him, confront him. He drives past me. But he, you know, if anybody knows, that's called uh, you see, your your part got cut out. So after the after the um, after the movie, I went up to Steven Soderbergh. I'm hurt. I said, Hey man, why y'all cut my part out? <laughs> oh, 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 big black man. <laughs> Just like that. Wow. Not knowing any better that you know that happens. He's like, Well, Vince, you know, we had to. Pay Michael up front, and you know uh, he we had to, me just playing. Yeah, he said we had you to cut a great out. Actor. We had to cut out a lot of scenes, but here, uh, tell my secretary I told you to uh, give him a call. He gave me a part in Ocean's Eleven. 